Finding the graph of a logarithmic function. So for this example, I'm not actually going to give you the graph straight up. What we're going to actually do is talk about how we get it. Okay? So think about any time we are dealing with an equation in logarithmic form, what we generally do is put it into exponential form. So I'm going to do that first. So this is just going to give us x is equal to 2 to the y. Now think back to actually how we got this formula in the first place. And that was by taking the inverse of an exponential. So the inverse is then just when we switch our x and y's, y is equal to 2 to the x. Okay, we know what that graph looks like, okay? And for this I have a little prop for you. We have the inverse, sorry, the graph of y equals 2 to the x looks something like this, okay? It's not precise, but pretty rough. How we found the graph of an inverse was by flipping something over the line y equals x. So what that did is it flipped everything that was above the line down, everything that was below it up. And what you end up with is a graph that looks like this. Okay? So by using properties of inverses, we can actually go from the graph that we have already derived to the graph of the log function. Okay? So what this graph does, the exponential graph went to the point 0, 1. When we flip the x and y's, we are now going to go to the point 1, 0. Our exponential graph had a horizontal asymptote at 0. That gets flipped to be vertical, so now we have a vertical asymptote at, which is that, x or y? That is at x equals 0. Okay, so vertical, vertical line right here. And then our domain, our x values, we weren't able to ever get to zero before, so we're still not going to be able to do that for our domain, zero to infinity. And our range used to be our domain for our inverse function, which is everything, and so this is just going to be all reals. So this is a rough sketch of a log graph. Key thing to note is this is only if our base is greater than one, okay? This exponential graph that we looked at, the first one, was if our base was greater than 1. So that translates to this base having the same restrictions. Okay? So by using our properties of inverses, we were able to find the rough sketch of our log graph with our base greater than 1.